we have a, a, a very lengthy uh, list of um, speakers tonight. Uh, and our first speaker is um, Ms. Karen Fenn. But before we begin, uh, the city is honoring its legal duty to provide accommodation under the Human Rights Act. Uh, and I would ask for a motion to move waive, it, Mr. Chairman. No, motion Mr. to waive the rules to allow accommodation of up to 10 minutes. Do move to, to waive the rules. All those in favor? Opposed? That item is carried. Ms. Fenn. Um, Good evening, everyone. City of Pickering Mayor Kevin Ash, Council, on behalf of Durham Block Network, the Caring Fenn Foundation, thank you for this opportunity to speak with you this evening in recognition of Black History Month, celebrating Black excellence. Durham Block Network is a group of Black community members and allies advocating for equity and equality through increased awareness of systemic anti-Black racism. My name is Carrie Ann Fenn. I'm the founder and the CEO of the Carrie Ann Fenn Foundation, a TV show host at Rogers TV for Health 180 with Carrie Ann Fenn, and I'm also the co-founder of Durham Block Network. I'm an award-winning healthcare advocate, which includes an award for Rogers TV Resiliency Award, as well as Dr. Jean Augustine's 100 Accomplished Black Canadian Woman, to name a few. Olga Lambert is an advocate, a sister in advocacy we call an award-winning community leader, past school board trustee, and her legacy carries on in me. I watched Olga Lambert die from cancer. I did not want her to die. I did not believe that she would die. Olga was supporting me through one of the worst systemic anti-black racism in modern day history, which almost killed me. She died knowing how cruel this world can be, but she knew that I would take that pain and champion change. Olga wanted me to continue to serve our community, to work together, and to show the importance of community service, and to remind us all of the importance of supporting each other. She embraces Michelle Obama's words, when they go low, we go high. Known as the father of black history, Carter G. Woodson established Negro History Week. His message was that blacks should be proud of their heritage and others should also understand it. His dedication to celebrating the historic contributions of black people led to the establishment, the establishment of Black History Month every February 1976. In February 2008, Senator Donald Oliver, the first black man appointed to Senate, introduced a motion to recognize the contributions of black Canadians and February as Black History Month. It received unanimous approval and was adopted on March 4th, 2008. In 1995, a motion by the first black Canadian woman elected to Parliament, Dr. Jean Augustine, was unanimously passed in the House of Commons that proclaimed February as Black History Month in Canada. The Carrion Fenn Foundation is the uh, Canadian Award winner and News Advertisers Reader's Choice Award for being a nonprofit. Durham Black Network programs are the Black Open Mic, which provides a platform for virtual conversation for Black for the Black community to share their experience with anti-Black racism. The Black Experience Town Hall, we have heard the voices of our Black community and structured programming to look at the health impact of racism on the Black community in healthcare, policing, and in, in healthcare.
We are honored to join Mayor Kevin Ash and Karen O'Brien in championing and putting a face to mental health, working with mental health organizations and experts such as CMHA Durham, Ontario Shores, Lake Ridge Health, and others to educate, support, and provide resources. We also hosted our Queen's Park Mental Health Chat, the first mental health chat in history at Queen's Park with our MPPs to talk about mental health, the impact, and encourage funding in Durham Region. Our mental health programs are being rebranded with the name Alex Monahan. Put in a face to mental health. Alex was an electrician with a job he loved, always had a smile on his face, engaged. He had siblings who adored him, parents who loved him and supported him, lots of friends, and the apple of his eye, Jameson, said Karen O'Brien. He also had access to support available. On April 1st, 2018, at 27 years old, Alex died by suicide, found by his mother, Karen O'Brien. Alex is the son of Mayor Kevin Ash and Karen O'Brien. My older son's grandfather died by suicide in the same way. This is why we dedicate our time and hard work to champion mental health. Racism is impacting not only mental health, but it also impacting physical health. Sometime causes death. I know that because I almost died recently. We're asking you as council members to have an open mind, fund programs, look at staffing, reach out to government, both provincial and federal, to support initiatives and programs to encourage equity and equality because we're not there yet. We should not have racism at the table. We have lots of work to do. We need to work together. Mayor Kevin Ash, City of Pickering, thank you for your continued contribution in helping to support and helping to grow our Black-led organization. I have one message to the Black community. It is not easy for a Caucasian man to call it out. We can't fix it unless we call it out. Mayor Ash has taken a stand for all of us. What he had to say recently is not new to me. He supported my organization and supported my leadership and showed that I'm capable and I have the strength. He's never micromanaged me. He showed me the respect, the decency, and the leadership allowed me to be the leader I can be, which is what is needed. So we need to take it serious and we need to really focus on, he called it out and we should not take that lightly. And I wanna thank you, Mayor Ash, for showing the leadership that we need in such a time. And we know that we will get through this. This should bring us together. We are better than this. Pickering is better than this. Pickering has played a major role in the growth of my Black-led organization. And I'm proud to say that. This is, what has been happening is not the Pickering that I know, but I know that we're better than this. And let's come together. Because as we always say, together we are stronger. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Finn. Uh, questions of the delegate. Uh, Councillor Butt. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor, through you, Karen. Thank you for your work, and I salute you for the work that you do for every community in, the, in, in our municipality. That's great. And it's really fortunate to have you um, in our community as well, and I think we should be all proud of you for, for the work that you do. Thank you. My question is, the, we have in our schools, we have in our workplaces that advocate in terms to Black History Month. Mm -hmm. In your own words, why is Black History Month so important to us? Black History Month is important because we need to recognize what has happened in the past. And we need to support, embrace the Black leaders that are out there that are making a difference. And we need to celebrate the enormous contributions of black community members in Canadian society. We have leaders who are capable. We have leaders who have education. 
We have leaders who have the ability to help make a difference and help bring us together. And we need to celebrate black excellence and working together as a community. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Councillor Pickles. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And uh, I know we have a number of delegations tonight. And I'm not going to ask this question of all, all of the delegations, but uh, we've worked together in the past, and I, I, I yes. would like to ask you these couple of questions. Sure. Uh, the city of Pickering uh, established and has ongoing uh, anti-black racism task force. And we also, uh, Mayor Ash put out a, a statement fairly recently um, that spoke to uh, comments uh, with respect to uh, Black History Month. You're, you're aware of those and you support those two, uh, I guess, one, one a statement and one an initiative. Uh, that's a good question. Um, I don't support the comments that have been made. I think it's disrespectful. Oh, sorry, Mr. Mayor. Which comments are speaking to? Order, I'm referring to the statement made by the mayor on behalf of the city of Chicago. Oh, the mayor. <laughs> Sorry, that's an important, that's an important so, distinction. So thank you. So I think I've made myself clear. I stand with the statement 100%. I think it's about time we've had a stand when someone says something that's insulting or disrespect to other community. I think it's important that leadership lead and step in front of the issues and show what importance communities are. So I support it. Okay. And, the, and the second uh, part of that question was, uh, you're you're aware of and are you supportive of the establishment and ongoing work of the Pickering uh, Anti-Black Racism Task Force, which I believe you're familiar with? Yeah, so I've been to several meetings that the task force have had in bringing the black community uh, together. Um, I think in terms of moving forward, we do need to work within the scope of uh, utilizing the committee to work in with other entities in moving forward. I think we have a lot of work to do in regards to the structure of how we move forward uh, in terms of addressing systemic anti-black racism. But based, up, based on what I've seen, I think they're taking the right step in moving forward. And I think it's going to take a collective measure in terms of whether it's Durham Black Network, the Anti-Black Racism Task Force, different cities in town, different leaders coming together and championing this to make a change for the better good of all of us within the community. Thank you. Uh, and I would just add leaders such as yourself. And uh, I support the statement. I support the work of the uh, Pickering Anti-Black Racism Task Force. And I, I think we've had a wonderful month of celebrations and uh, education. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Councillor Robinson. Thank you, and through you, Mr. Mayor, thank you very much for your delegation. That was wonderful. Um, I just want to ask one question. How would you feel about having an Aboriginal History Month? I think within every community, as I've always said, Anytime any one of our communities call on me, I will be there. It's important to recognize these moments that are special to communities, whether it's the 2S LGBTQIA community, whether it's the indigenous community, any one of our communities, these moments, these months, these awareness dates, as a registered charity, it's important. It's important for us to recognize these dates and the importance importance of these dates to other community, stand with them and support them in their initiative. We don't have the right to disrespect any community within, within a day, a month, a week, whatever that is. We can disagree, but we should not be disrespectful. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sun, for your, your presentation today. Uh, our next delegate, uh,